Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the USA Math Olympiad 2024 problem 1. First of all, let's take a look at the problem statement. We have given a positive integer n greater than or equal to 3. Now we consider the divisors d1 up to dk of n factorial and they should be ordered in this way, so d1 less than d2 and so on. Now we are asked to find all n such that d2 minus d1 less than or equal to d3 minus d2 and so on up to dk minus dk minus 1. To get a better feeling about these divisors here, I want to write them down for small values of n. Let's start with n equals to 2. n factorial equals 6 and therefore the divisors are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Hence the difference is always increasing and therefore this is a solution. Now let's take a look at n equals 4. Here n factorial equals 24, and we get for the divisors 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 20. We again see that this is a solution. Now let's try out a third example, namely n equals 5. Here n factorial equals 120. To get the divisors of 120, we take these divisors here and these divisors times 5. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 20, 24, 30, 40, 60, and 120. We see that the difference of 15 and 20 is 5, but the difference of 20 and 24 is 4. Therefore, this is no solution. Taking a look at these three examples here, we can see that the first few divisors are also the first few positive integers. From the condition that the difference of the divisors are increasing, we know that after the first time we have a non-divisor of n factorial, there can't be two consecutive divisors of n factorial. It seems unlikely that this is true if n has many divisors and therefore we want to try to prove that this is false if n is large enough. To do this, we want to consider this first point here where there is a non-divisor of n factorial. So let us define m to be minimal such that m does not divide n factorial. Now the idea is to construct two divisors of n factorial, both greater than m with difference 1. There is actually a really short way of doing this, which uses Bertrand's postulate. Bertrand's postulate tells us that we can find a prime number p such that p lies between n and 2n. This immediately gives us an upper bound for m because we know that p does not divide n factorial and therefore m is less than or equal to p is less than 2m. If you are interested in this approach here, you can try to finish it by yourself as a small exercise. You can also check out the solution PDF which you can find in the description of this video or on our website where I wrote a remark about the solution. But now I want to show you another approach without using Bertrand's postulate. Our goal is to construct divisors of n factorial both greater than m with a small difference. One idea is to take a look at the numbers m minus 2 squared and m minus 1 times m minus 3 because we know that their difference is equal to 1. Unfortunately, we don't know if these numbers here are divisors of n factorial because the two factors must not be co-prime. For the second number, there is an easy fix, because we know that their greatest common divisor is at most 2, and if it is equal to 2, we can just take m minus 2, m minus 4, and here m minus 3 squared. On the other hand, for our first number, we have a bigger problem, because if m is greater than 3, we know that m minus 2 is never co-prime to itself. Hence, we have to try out something slightly different without using square numbers, and for this, we want to consider a minus 3 times a and a minus 2 times a minus 1. If we choose a less than m, then we know all of these factors here are divisors of n factorial. And this immediately tells us that the second number here is also a factor of n factorial. For the first number, we have to watch out because 3 could be a potential divisor of both a minus 3 and a. But we can just choose a in such a way that 3 does not divide a and then we conclude that both of these numbers here are divisors of n factorial. 
This is only true if all of the factors here are positive integers. And therefore, let's try to figure out if we can find such an a satisfying a greater than 3. Firstly, note that either m minus 1 or m minus 2 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, we have that a can be chosen to be greater than or equal to m minus 2. To get a bound on m, let's at first consider only the case that n is greater than or equal to 6 because all the other cases are already done. In this case, we have that both 9 and 10 are divisors of n factorial. Therefore, m is greater than or equal to 11 and thus a is greater than or equal to 9, as desired. Since we have two divisors of n factorial with difference 2, we know that if we have two consecutive divisors less than or equal to these two divisors here, they must have difference at most 2. Moreover, if these two divisors are both greater than or equal to m minus 1, we know that their difference is at least 2. And therefore, their difference must be equal to 2. We conclude that all the numbers m minus 1, m plus 1, m plus 3, and so on, up to a minus 2 times a minus 1, are divisors of n factorial. We can see that this last number here is congruent to 0 modulo 2. This implies that all the other numbers in this sequence here are also divisible by 2. We can conclude that all even numbers less than or equal to a minus 2 times a minus 1 are divisors of n factorial. On the other hand, remember that m is not a divisor of n factorial. Therefore, we also have that 2m is not a divisor of n factorial. In conclusion, we must have that 2 times m is greater than a minus 2 times a minus 1. Using a greater than or equal to m minus 2, we conclude that this is greater than or equal to m minus 4 times m minus 3, which is equal to m squared minus 7m plus 12. This is clearly a contradiction, and therefore, in the case where n is greater than or equal to 6, this inequality here can't be true. Thus, the solutions n equal 3 and n equal 4 are the only one, and we are done.